with the hole in the wall gang. We were pros. You know, nobody ever got pinched. You know, you got to be a pro. You know, I mean, you know, pros know how to do their business. They know what target acquisition is. They know how to neutralize that target. We don't go around spraying people in the streets, man. You know, you know what the target is. That's what you got to take out. Okay. We have rules. You know, you're not allowed. I'm not allowed to kill Rossi in front of Zoe. What? Don't about it. Because you know the problem with that? If I kill Rossi in front of Zoe, I get killed. <laughs> I'm not allowed to kill a person in front of his children. You know, I mean, that's how professional it is. And if you're not a pro, don't get into the game. You know, don't go driving down Lefferts Boulevard with a, a, a Tech 9 just spraying the sidewalks and killing innocent people. You know, it don't work that way. Precision. You know, I mean, what you got to do, you got to do, and that's your mission, and you complete your mission, and you complete it as a professional. Was it considered um, pretty much the, what you said, uh, like almost a military mission, the family? The whole family is set up like the military. What do they have in a mafia family? They got soldiers, soldate. They got lieutenants. They got capos, captains, and they got the capo dudes who take copies. Who are the generals? It was all based, the mafia is based on the Romans. How the Romans had it set up, it's the same way the mob has it set up. You no. Know, you got your soldiers, you got your lieutenants, you got your captains, you got your generals. You know. So as far as military, it's very military. Government inside of government. It's very Machiavellian. I mean, that's the book. You know, any good wise guy has read The Prince. You know, I mean, that's what it's about. You know. um, I didn't only read The Prince. But I read the discourses, which Machiavelli takes the prince, which is a very small book, and the discourses are like that, and he explains in detail everything he talks about in the prince, you know, and that's the game, and it's not only the mafia game, it's the whole world order, you know lives by Machiavelli. <laughs> I mean, if you really look at it, I don't know if you ever read Machiavelli, but it's the whole thing that's, that happens in the world. Is, you know, government is Machiavelli. You know. So you got to, you know, you know you gotta, it's, it's, it's a strange thing because... Now, do you apply that to your art? Can you apply that to your art? I don't think so. What is your art to you? But what I do apply to my art is everything that I've ever been through is in these paintings. You know. So it's not like applying it to Machiavelli, but it's I mean, everything is an experience. You know, every little segment. I mean, if you look at this piece right here, you know, what is that when you look at it? That's a VC hidden in the bush. That's a green beret. That's an M16. You know, 
people might look at that and just look at it and go, oh, it's a nice green thing. But to me, that's what it is. You know, um, there's, I mean, I could go on forever with the paintings. We tried and figured it out the other night, me and Ross, just on this wall, there's 700 different little cutouts. You know, that's not including the one I got in my bedroom, which we can't hang in here. We have no more room to hang. But it's all about, you know, there's a saxophone player. That's when I played sax. I mean, it's all about me. There's my self-portrait. <laughs> you know, it's all about what I've been through. Um, on the one that's hanging in the bedroom. I mean, the centerpiece of that is it's all about the mob. It's got the one guy standing there with a the gun killing the other guy, you know. Um, a lot of people, and I've had this reaction, especially there's one painting, which is one of my favorite paintings. It's at the gallery. It's never been sold called The Underworld. And everybody says, man, it's a fabulous painting, but it's a little too dark for me. But, you know, I come from a dark place, you know. I mean, I'm a happy little camper, but up here, you know, if it, 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 it comes to my art or anything else, as a matter of fact, I mean, I can't escape, and you can't. Nobody can escape their past. And my past was just, from when I got out of high school until, you know, some years ago, um, my whole thing was violence. I mean, it was it. It was about real violence. I mean, it was talking about killing. Yeah.